type of controller that is the controller extension controller extension okay the fourth type of controller so far we have talked about uh, standard controller standard list and custom now we're going to talk about the fourth type of controller which is controller extension now controller extension is also a custom controller kind of a thing okay this is also written in fx can you have the microphones muted all of you please okay so uh, in this basically this is also written in apex this is also written using apex and uh, this is where you have uh, the option of using the uh, apex class as an additional controller all right so so far we have worked on a model where we have a page and we have a controller for the page correct we call the controller on the page this controller can be standard or custom that's what we have been doing so far what's a custom uh, sorry controller extension a controller extension is basically an extension of this controller so what you can do is in addition to the basic or the primary controller for the page you can use one more controller as an extension why would i need this sometimes if i am not happy with the functionalities or if i am not okay with the functionalities of the standard controller then i will need a custom controller for this okay so if i am not happy with the functionalities of the standard controller i will need a custom controller for it all right so you not custom controller controller extension so extension is always used for extending the functionality of primary controller this is used for extending the functionality of standard controller that's basically what a controller extension does right so logically what will happen you will have the primary controller on the page plus a controller extension all right and you will be able to use the uh, methods and functionalities from both of them you will you will be able to use the logic written here plus the logic written here both of them can be used right okay so let's go ahead and create a controller extension So let me just go ahead and create a page, and I will use a standard controller on that page. Okay, this is my Visual Force page. I am using a standard controller on this. Okay, 
So I've used standard controller on this. It means that I am able to call the standard functionalities and standard methods from this standard controller on this page. Correct? That's what it means. Now the point is that if I am using this in case I am using the standard functionalities on this controller or on this page and on top of that along with the functionalities of the standard controller I need some custom defined functionalities. So far what we have been doing we have either been using the standard or the custom controller. But now on my page I already have a standard controller. Let me pick a page which we have created earlier with a standard controller. See, let's say this one. This is a standard controller page, correct? Standard controller. In fact, a standard list controller. So it has its own functionalities, right? So it's automatically we do not need to write the code and program and everything. It's able to use the functionality of the standard controller. In addition to this, I want to use my own custom functionalities into this. Okay, then what do I do? Or this page this is a standard controller page I want to use my custom functionality into this some custom method I want to call on this then I will need an extension so all that I have to do is I just need to go ahead and create a class Now in this, uh, what I need is uh, whatever methods we want to display there. So let's say there is a string I define here. Hello. I just de define a get method in this. I want to call this get method on my visual force page. Which visual force page? This page. On which I am using a standard controller. So logically so far what we have been doing is if we have a method in a class we call that class as a controller on the page. But now on this page account is already as a standard controller. So I cannot call it as a controller. But still I want this method to be called there. So what do I need to do? I need to call it as an extension on that page. Got it? So name of the class ext1 
whatever is the name of the class it needs to be called here as an extension so you have to say extension equals this Yep. So now I have called this as an extension, this class ext1 as an extension, all right. All that I have to do is now I should be able to call the method from there on this page from that class. The class has been called as an extension. See, the method is returning its result. So it could have been instead of string, you could have had the uh, S object, list of S object, whatever. Got it? You see this? Let me know if you are clear on this. If there is any question, any difficulty on this. Sorry? This is this is basically this is a constructor. Alright? Yeah. So using this constructor I am actually assigning the uh, what do you say location for the standard controller here. Alright? Now this controller, this set of logic needs to work with the standard set of logic. Got it? So what I am doing with this method, I am actually giving the location of the other set of logic which it has to work with. So that other set of logic is apex page dot standard set controller. So that particular page is standard set controller. The standard controller that is being used by that page. Okay. And for that I am just giving a variable name controller. You can call it whatever call or whatever. Right. So this is basically for the standard list of controller and this extension, this class is going to work with this particular set of logic. I am not able to hear you at all. That's uh, you know, your voice is very low. And, uh, Hello, are you able to hear me now? Hello. Ah, now it's better. Yeah. Yeah, I mean to say you are saying that you are telling this class that you have to work with the standard controller which is already which, Yeah, standard. right. Correct. Standard set controller. This is a standard list controller, right? So you have to work with the standard list controller. If it was a standard controller, you should have written here. Standard controller. But because I am using a list of records here, record set where, so it's a standard list controller. Correct? Okay, okay. So that's how it is. So the reason for this controller extension, there are two reasons why you will use a controller extension. Number one is if you have designed a visual force page using a standard controller, you need a standard controller, standard or standard list controller on your page. If you are using any of these controllers, the standard or standard list controller on your visual force page, then it's pretty simple because if you're using a standard controller or if you're using a standard list controller, then it becomes, you know, you do not have a choice or you do not have an option to uh, use the custom functionalities. So if you have to use any custom functionality along with this, extension is the only option available, right? You can use a controller along with a custom controller also. Why would you use a con uh, controller extension with a custom controller? Because custom controller is somewhere where you are already writing code. 
why will you again create one more class for custom controller the logic is that in case you have already have a custom controller which has some custom logic and you want to just go ahead and uh, define this logic uh, sorry define some additional logic without making any changes on the uh, standard controller or say, sorry without making any changes on the custom controller right so let's say you have created a custom controller class now you deployed it everything is working fine all of a sudden the client says that i need two more functionalities now you don't want to make any changes on this one let's say you want that whatever i have written in this custom controller let it be there i am not going to make any changes on the custom controller logic right in that case what you can do is you can just create one more small class rather than you know getting into this big class where there are a lot of things and then i go and put a few more things i just don't want to you know uh, work on this all right or i do not have an access to it in this someone else has created this one and i do not have access i don't understand what exactly uh, the way logics are written in this i don't want to get into that i just want to create my two functions which will come on the page so what i can do is i can just create an extension and write my methods or functions which i want to call and call it as an extension on the page got it simple logic let me know if anyone has a question So uh, we'll do a small activity using the controller extension. We'll do a very small activity. Um, on the account page, I want a Visual Force page with account as standard controller. On the account detail page, I want to see a list of products. I want to see a list of products on the account detail page. Got it? So, how will you create the account detail page? Let me just give you a hint. So, account detail page we have done it initially in our sessions. How will you create it? Which controller are we going to use for account detail page? Which controller are you going to use for account detail page? Standard controller. Standard controller we will use. Correct. Now, if I use standard controller, I have the option of displaying related list like contacts, cases. We have done these things, right? Opportunities. Now, uh, my client says that along with these contacts, cases, opportunities, these related list, the client wants to see a list of products also here. When the salesperson is talking to the customer. He needs to quickly check which all products they have. I want to display a list of products also here. Now, is product a related list of account? I'm talking about the account detail page. Is product a related list of account? Contact is a related list of account, right? Opportunity is also a related list. Cases is a related list. Is product a related list of account? Is there a relationship between the product and account? Yes, no. Quick. Hello, I'm waiting for reply. Is there a relationship between account and product here? Think yes, that we should product, have actually, product, huh? Products, yeah, opportunity. Is product connected to account? That's what I'm asking. This is something which you should have actually uh, known on the first day itself when you created your login on Salesforce. Why are you guys still thinking so much? 
is what we do on the first day itself right and we always uh, go through things and all there is no connection between account and product okay but um, you know um, this is a little surprising that you guys do not know this much of uh, the uh, standard functionalities try to understand the standard application there is no use of learning programming and writing apex program if you do not know these uh, basic things right okay so the point is that account contact are related so when the client says account and uh, you want uh, you know under account page the client says that display a list of contacts cases opportunities and products okay now the point is uh, that till contacts cases opportunities it's fine because these are all related list so you just have to use the related list component for product because it's not related then i cannot use a related list component so how will i display the list of products in the account page what should be the logic there so we go back to the standard controller sessions or think about that we used to use a component called uh, related list apex related list right so related list component will always allow you to display the related list but product is not even a related list how will i display the list of products so how you uh, bring in this list of product what is the easiest way since my standard controller functionality is not allowing me to do that so what will i need to do if the standard controller functionality does not allow me to do that then what do i need to do we are going to use a controller extension correct so we'll create a controller extension because if the standard functionality does not allow then i have to write it myself so to write it myself where will i write because i am already using a standard controller create a controller extension and controller extension define a list of as object product and then define a get method and on the standard account controller page go and display this list that's it clear all right so this is what uh, we will do as an activity all right but you know we'll start after some time before that i want you to have a few more things also i want you to understand a few more things as well so are we clear on this please tell me uh, if you have any question or doubt because this is going to be your uh, yeah, activity for today you have to work on this so this much is pretty simple very simple Standard list controller account. Till here, it's absolutely fine. It's going to be a matter of 10 minutes. Only the list of products, because it cannot be gotten from uh, using the standard functionalities of the standard controller. So I have to define a custom logic there that should be written as an extension, and that should be called as an extension on the Visual Force page. So these three things will come from the standard controller logic. This will come from the extension logic. very simple right so that's what uh, you are going to do but before we uh, before you guys start working on this activity there is another thing that i want to discuss which is pointing to the visual force pages just give me one quick moment. Okay. 
so uh, the next topic that we are going to talk is overriding and pointing to visual force pages so far we have created the visual force pages we have uh, created it using different types of controller standard standard list custom custom controller methods we are able to call uh, we are able to you know define the functionalities inside the page but there is one very important thing which we need to understand how will people point to the visual force page how will they access the visual force page so far we are just writing the page we are putting the name there we put uh, the name in the url and then we access it will my end users access it the same way no they will not know the name of the page right you know v1 v13 v12 is there and all that because we are the developers we are developing it so we know how will people my end users how, how are they going to access my visual force pages because they will definitely not remember these page names and all that so what are the ways of pointing to the visual force pages the first option is to override the standard display page so what you can do is you have standard pages for all uh, you know, for all salesforce objects for account you have a standard page for uh, opportunity you have for lead you have you can override any of the standard page using the visual force page which means when they try to access the standard page they will land up into the visual force page i can override that i can hide the standard page and bring in the uh, custom page or visual force page in front of that right so your visual force pages can act can function as a replacement to the standard detail page for an account or for any object you can modify the standard user interface generated by platform to ensure that you pay, your page gets shown instead of the standard page so what you can do is you can override the standard page with visual force page just to ensure that your page is being shown instead of the standard page and uh, to do this all that we have to do is we just have to go to customize accounts and all that stuff all right so let's say uh, i have created a visual force page fx v15 Page block title visual force page page block section right so i have created a visual force page for account right this is a custom page for account and i have a standard page also available my visual force page is v15 so i have the option of going and overriding the custom page with the visual force page uh, sorry the standard page with the visual force page i have that option how will i do that just go to setup instead of the standard account page you want to display this visual force page just go to setup uh, go to customize this is for account so go to accounts uh, go to button links and actions okay under button links and actions you will see that there is a 
page dedicated for everything for detail for new record for edit record for delete record for everything there is a page i want to edit the view page so just click on edit and initially it's no override just go and select the visual force page here select v15 save now instead of the standard salesforce page see for everything else it's a standard salesforce page for view you have made it visual force page <clears throat> now if a user goes and clicks on an account if a user clicks on an account the account will automatically open in the visual force page format click on any account the account is going to open in the visual force page format do you see this so the end user does not have to go and you know remember the name v15 and all that stuff for him it's still a point and click he's just going and clicking on a record the record opens on visual force page format right so this is the first thing that you can do you can override the standard page with a visual force page so that when the end user tries to open a record he views the record in the custom page format only all right now the next thing that sorry. okay so that's one option option number 2 is you can embed a visual force page so this was complete override you completely removed the standard page and you displayed the visual force page there sometimes this might not be the requirement your user might say or your client might say that see i want to see the standard page but i want to see the visual force part as a component as a small part of the standard page so let the standard page be there try to uh, you know insert the visual force page into that standard page so that's where you can do the embed you have the option of embedding a visual force page into a standard layout so if you don't want to completely override then you can embed the visual force page all right how will we embed the visual force page embedding is even more simpler so before i embed let me just go back and reset it to the standard page so again you can just go back to the same navigation button can links and actions and reset make it no override save click on okay right now embed the visual force page into the uh, embed the visual force page into this thing into the standard page right so how will you do that for doing that you have to go to the page layouts in that case because you have to embed it into the standard layout so you will have to go to the page layouts go to the page layout which you want to edit basically so i want to edit my account layout all right on the page layout you have an option here at the top uh, left called visual force pages this is where your visual force pages will be displayed and you can drag and put the visual force page into the standard layout one column section okay drag the visual force page here call it visual force okay done your visual force page is ready okay but now it's not just the you know we have not overridden the standard page we have just embedded the visual force page let me save it
go to account click on an account record now the full standard page is visible and visual force page is visible as a small section inside this embedded inside the big visual, uh, big standard page correct so that's the second thing what else can we do create hyperlinks to urls of visual force pages right so what you can do is you can also create certain hyperlinks on your visual force page to connect to another visual force page so this is also doable like v15 is a visual force page like uh, if you have this visual force page if you have a visual force page here v15 if you don't want to override or something like that what you can do is you can also create a link here let's say text form fx command link to uh, take you to another visual force page all right it's like action fx v v12 right Sorry. Yeah. So uh, we were talking about this thing, creating a link or a button which can take you to another visual force page. So now from V15, if I want a button or a link which will take me to V12, I can do that. Go or whatever value I want to put. Now just putting this much will take you to that visual force page. or you could have created a page reference method in page reference we have that option na return null we used to write so if you create a page reference method in that instead of return null if you say return page dot v12 okay let's say you you define a method page reference method call it public page reference v12 and you put it like this right so this will uh, this method will also take you to uh, page number v12 if you don't want to define method you can just write in the action this much you don't have to define any method just for going to another page that's it so this will also allow you to So redirect your page to v12. Click on this. It will take you to v12. See? Okay. So you can create hyperlink or button which can take you to Visual Force page. Okay. Done. So apart from these things, there is one more option that you have. Uh, which we can use so we have done overriding we have done embedding we have done click on a link okay so create a custom link or custom uh, component the command link or command button to go to the visual force page all right apart from this there is one more option which is available to you which is called a custom button the custom button let's see that when you click on when you go to the detail page of a record these buttons are available these are all standard buttons all right these are all standard buttons i can create a custom button here also let's say my client is giving me uh, you know client has given me a requirement that by default let people see the standard page 
but if the person wants he should be able to click on a button here and view the details in visual prospect possible one possibility is override the entire thing second possibility is he is asking you to embed it into the standard page third possibility is that client says that i give me both the options by default i want to see the standard but i also want to have a button on which i should be able to click and see it in the visual force format in that case what we need to do we just need to go ahead and create a custom button okay so let me just uh, okay so for creating custom button again you just have to go to setup account because this is for account for the accounts buttons links and actions and in this you have to create a new custom button new button or link click here create this button and whatever name you want to give you go to df all right so this is going to be a detail page button which means this is going to be a button visible on the detail page all that you have to do you just have to define a source for this all right do you want to display the other page in the same window or a different window display it in the existing window with sidebar what is the source visual force page is going to be the source for that button v15 yes so i've created a button that button will take me to v15 that's what i've said got it you can give something else also as a source for a custom button like a url or a javascript but we need to redirect it to visual force page so we have given it as a visual force page here select the visual force page in which you want to go to from here click on save okay now it says that your custom button will work only when you put this custom button on the page layout by default it will not come on the page layout you have to include this custom button on the page layout so that's fine save this button the button is created now all that you have to do is you just have to go to the page layout and include this button in the page layout so go to the page layout and call the button in the page layout itself here is buttons go to visual force yes. select right see now the button has been uh, included in the page standard page if i click on this it will take me to the visual force page so i have that option right so any record you open by default it's going to open like this and after that if you click on this button it can go back to your uh, standard page or oh, sorry not the standards visual force page it can go to the visual force page clear so these are different ways of using the visual force pages so you can override a standard page you can embed it into a standard page you can create a button which can give you an option to view things in a visual force page you can create a command button or a command link uh, to direct to the visual force page right you can create a page reference method as i said to direct to a visual force page so these are the ways so and apart from this yeah sorry one more thing apart from these you have one more option which is you can also create a tab for visual force page right so if you want you can create a tab for visual force page also how will you do that it's pretty simple the way you create a tab for objects let's go to setup create tabs in tabs you have an option called visual force tab click on new 
which visual force page you want to use for the tab whatever name you want to uh, whatever label you want to display on the tab pick a tab style See, now I have got a tab. This is going to take me to my visual force page. Got it? So your tab can also take you to the visual force page. So these are the options. So for end users, you have to figure out how are they going to access. Will they access it directly when they click on a record? Will it open in the visual force page format? Am I going to embed it? Am I going to give them an option to click on a button and see the visual force page. Do I want to create a tab for it? Do I want to create a button or custom a command button or command link so that they can access, right? So depending on your requirement, you'll figure out how they are gonna reach the visual force page. All right. So uh, that's what we are gonna discuss today.